Well, good morning from Ballater, and here we are at last at the winter show, a uh, little bit later than we planned for. I'm sorry about that. Um, you'll be watching this literally a few days before Christmas. But the winter show has been set up here for a couple of weeks, and what I'm also delighted to tell you is that our winter catalogue arrives today. Uh, I'm picking them all up at my house in Aberdeen. So if any of you would like a winter catalogue, please just email info at ballotergallery.co.uk. It's beautiful and, uh, well, I think it's beautiful. That's a bit boastful, isn't it? But it's a really nice, um, glossy uh, sort of mag for you to browse through over the winter months. So the winter show, this is our first, uh, our first show, I suppose, really, because, you know, don't forget that in March, we'd only been trading really for um, nine months uh, when we went into lockdown. And yeah, it's been it's been a tough time, you know, this year, our open, close, whatever. But, you know, thanks to everybody for your support. And we've got through it. And the winter shows a bit of a celebration, really, frankly. And I think almost all the paintings and bronzes that we've put, we've taken everything off the walls and started again. And almost everything is, is new. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. And uh, I'll talk about things the way I normally do. Uh, so what, what am I standing behind here? This is a um, spectacular, almost like a flagship painting by Muriel Barclay of um, Bar Extension. Muriel's famous for her dancers, her appreciation of dancers and the human form. And this is a big, important painting, 40 by 50 inches, plus the frame. So it's, you know, 60 inches is best part of four feet by five, four feet deep by five feet wide. Total stunner um, at eight and a half thousand. What's below it? Well, we have new ceramics by Chris Taylor, one of the best ceramicists in the country. Uh, they arrived oh, Sunday and already I think three of the big pieces are away. Uh, this is £895. If I just move you up here to the shelves, you'll see a couple smaller ones. 425 for the medium green vase with blue blue flowers, and then small jug with blue paper cut, only £295. What you must remember is that these are all obviously ceramics, one-off exclusive pieces. Um, Tom, if we just go here, this is also very, very exciting. We've never had anything by the ceramicist called um, Archie McCall. Archie used to be the head of ceramics at Glasgow School of Art, and his work is just beautiful. He will often use platinum um, and many, many layers uh, before he gets it absolutely right before painting it. So this one is a tall vase with platinum handles and, you know, £195 for a really wonderful uh, piece of art. We've got about 30 pieces, I think, in by Archie, purely uh, to... to to push the winter show to say we've really gone to a lot of effort to get some new things. So have a look at these bronzes by David Meredith. I've spoken about David's. They're really heavy. So um, these wouldn't these look great at either side of a mantelpiece, almost like um, I've forgotten the word what you call them. Um, anyway, there's a ab abelisks, I think. I think that's what, gosh, I've totally got myself confused here. Anyway, solid bronzes on granite, um, limited editions. And, you know, again, new for the winter show. So let's continue around here uh, for a second. So everybody knows Jack Morocco, one of the, the country's leading painters. We've had an incredible run of success with Jack. We've sold in the last few weeks paintings of Venice, paintings of Palma, an exquisite lily pond. And I asked Jack for something small. He, his paintings tend to be big, they tend to be investment pieces, but this has just arrived, Portofino Study. The painting will drop in so you can see it closely now, in a beautiful frame. And you know, that one's only £2,500 for a Jack Morocco. So let's continue around here. I have a quick look at more ceramics by Archie McCall. I am making a bit of a thing of these um, because I just think what a great present for yourself or £195 again, and as I see, um, all one-offs. A uh, new painting to us by Glenn Schooler. This is Village Farm and Tens. 
Again, like Jack Morocco, you know, similar vintage, funnily enough. Um, this painting, a lot of people who've popped in of late, we've not, I'll be honest, we've not been having that many people in Ballot. I've been really disappointing compared to last year because, because of the, the, the restrictions and um, the rules. So these, um, I've been sending videos, Village Farm and Hens, it's actually France, it's not um, Scotland. Uh, so what's behind me? Uh, another big piece. Glenn Coe, David Smith, RSW, very, very well known. David, somebody actually said to me just the other, just the other week, uh, oh, I was talking to my friend and she said, why do you talk about paintings that have sold? Well, it made me think and I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't talk about paintings that are sold. And then I asked Tom to find out from a couple of regular people who email us, and they said, no, they like to know about paintings that have sold, to look at examples of work by an artist and, and their expertise. So we're not saying they've sold to in any way show off, we're saying they're sold to let you know about them. And also, I've mentioned this in the past, quite a few of our artists, like Alison Cowan, like Cecilia Cardiff, people have been um, upset that they've missed a painting that sold very, very quickly. And I'll mention about this, a, a couple of paintings that have sold very quickly recently. And often the artist will say, well, yeah, I will do something for you. And not identical, obviously, or the, the value would drop um, from a long-term value if it was a copy, but something very similar as a commission. So that's one of the reasons we, we also talk about paintings that have sold. Uh, if you go to the top, Tom, in the video here, uh, Dale Bisland um, had been on holiday in Crinan and was blown away by the views of Crinan and he paints, arrived, we had six paintings which arrived for the show and um, three are away already but I think they're absolutely beautiful. This painting here has been well admired since it's been hung called Inner Glow Oil and Panel by Dale Bisland 80, sorry, no, I think it's 60 by 60 centimetres. Um, if I could just go back, I know I'm jumping around here at Andrew Thompson. So again, all the regular uh, viewers of these videos will know how well Andrew's work is sold. And there's a really beautiful, big painting. He doesn't paint that many big paintings. A big painting called Cherry Tree. It'll drop in now. And it only went in the window on Sunday and has sold already. So I'm unwrapping this. This is exciting because Stephanie Rue has been massively successful at the gallery. Um, often her paintings have the kimonos, often they have a lot of gold leaf. This honestly isn't going to be here for long. It's my only Stephanie Rue. We sold the big, oh gosh, I'm trying to remember names. I think it was Scarlet, beautiful big red one. And then we had two exquisite dark green kimono paintings, all sold and going to all around the UK, uh, Wheel Courier, and generally speaking for uh, the, the good paintings, we will um, courier them uh, free of charge. Um, so this is paused on oil and panel by Stephanie Rue. Uh, I'll just put it here because it's been quite exciting to unwrap. I'm going to walk around here a little bit. Um, right at the top, we've got Fire and Ice Vista by Alison Cowan. So I think in a year, Alison sold 40, 50 paintings by us. Uh, Fire and Vista, £1,695. She paints with very thick acrylic. She's well known for it. Yes, have a look through the website. And you will have to look through and see how beautiful her work is. She will do commissions through us. And you'll see there are about six new paintings uh, there. I'm turning around to this easel. I hope there's not too much reflection because there is glass. Um, this is called The Three Degrees. When will I see you again? Show my age. Anyway, I assume these are the three degrees. It's an oil and canvas. It, it almost looks as if it could be a watercolour. It's 70 centimetres by 100 and a really beautiful bespoke um, white frame, which is Georgina McMaster, who I should have said Georgina McMaster, uh, who painted this. So 
<laughs> we actually had, and you'll see it in the catalogue, a wonderful painting by Georgina of a Christmas tree, snapped up like that. So this one only arrived a couple of days ago because we wanted an important, uh, good Georgina McMaster. I'll pick this one up here by uh, Margaret Evans. This is Glenn Shee. And what Margaret Evans has done for us uh, this year is, uh, Margaret is originally from Glasgow, she lives in Perthshire now, but she has been coming up to, to Royal D side because she's fallen for the area. She's done some really beautiful paintings of uh, Glenn Mick, uh, Loch Nagar, and as I say, this one is Glenn Shee. Margaret is at the top of her game uh, using pastels. Uh, so uh, I'm standing in front of a Cecilia Cardiff. I think there are eight or nine new Cecilias. Again, huge uh, amount of fans. This is Memories Are Made Of This, and it's, I think it's uh, £2,950. Memories Are Made Of This, quite poignant, isn't it, really, when you uh, consider uh, none of us have had holidays and really sat in bistros like that. Well, some of us have holidays, I suppose. Going right up to the top, Tom, that uh, we have two new paintings by Stephen Mang, and one will drop in. Stephen also has a huge followings. This painting is waiting, oil and canvas, 50 by 40, and 2,400 pounds. And then Marion Drummond. So again, regular viewers will know, uh, Marion's paintings have been just so well received since uh, we started representing her when, uh, virtually when, when we opened. Um, exquisite frames, beautiful uh, paintings with oils. Uh, we have their red tulips and we have little brown jug and I'm really delighted to see that my courier is down at the moment picking up from Marion and we have a, again, we sold two great big paintings just, uh, I think they were 40 by 30, just a couple of weeks ago. So I wanted another uh, big piece by Marion, so a turquoise background. Pink Lilies, I've, I've forgotten the name, sorry, is about to arrive. We'll drop in here to the video because Tom's clever that way. Um, and you, you'll see that. So I can't really talk about absolutely everyone. I think I've probably gone on enough, but uh, somebody said to me, David, why don't you bring a bit of humour into the videos and tell a few jokes or something like that? Don't think I'll do that. But uh, it's quite funny talking about Balaton, the difficult year we've all had. I just thought I would tell some people a little story uh, as I was rushing around trying to get thoughts of the winter show and everything together. Uh, my uh, elderly but quite sassy mother said she'd like to come to Ballater because she was in the same, uh, the same, uh, I forgot what you call it, this thing is me, bubble. And um, so she said she'd like to go to Dara Clark for dinner. Anyway, this is quite very brief but very funny, so nothing to do with art. So uh, Nigel and Fiona own the Dara Clare, it's a brilliant hotel up the road, work so hard and I'd explained this to my mother and her healing's not that bad but Fiona was talking through a mask and mentioning that there's no family help and said uh, through her mask, oh yes, uh, we've just had a grandchild by our eldest, to which my mother said, well you've just had a grandchild called Elvis, anyway. There's a little bit of a funny story. I quite liked it. I will repeat that just one more. We've just had a grandchild by our eldest. Oh, you've just had a grandchild called Elvis. Anyway, I promise not to tell anybody the story, but thought it was quite funny. So no crackers cooling out here this Christmas, but a, a genuine thank you to everybody for supporting the gallery. It has been tough. Uh, we've worked right through it. It's, it's kept the business successful. A few of you know, I don't go on about in the videos here, but I have a couple of pubs in Aberdeen and it's been, um, utterly um, horrific what's happened there, opening, closing, massively uh, difficult to run, loss making, and we just don't know where we're coming or going with these. So the gallery has been vital to my own life, but also uh, to, to support many people, and, that, and it's, it's an absolutely genuine and heartfelt thanks to everybody who watches these videos and comes in and buys. Uh, so on that note, uh, I'll repeat, if you would like, the glossy winter catalogue. Just drop an email, info at ballotergallery.co.uk. If any th artists that you're really interested, we've got about 50, I can't mention them all here, but I think we have something by every one of the artists in our stable 
in the gallery. I, sorry, I've just actually forgotten. There's one painting I wanted to highlight here because Brian Mutter, again, is very, very well known um, as a top Scottish artist selling throughout the UK and abroad. This has been painted especially for us to represent in, uh, in the northeast. So the painting is called Offshore. Uh, I have a, an uncle who was involved in it and he pointed out the, the different periods of the oil rig to the men who are classic and important to all of Ryan Mutter's paintings. Well, the whole idea is that um, these men could have been in the 1930s in one of um, Ryan's famous shipbuilding paintings and they're standing under a crane and looking into the future, perhaps it's the Great Depression, they're thinking about where the future lies and of course it's really important to the, the many people who come out here from Aberdeen who have um, had their living ups and downs through oil and it's, is the future going to be offshore rather than shipping? So I think that's a, a poignant painting as we're in difficult times here at the moment. Uh, and yes, have a look through the website and get in touch with us. Let us know if you want the catalogue. I'm beginning to repeat myself, so I will finish off here and just say uh, happy Christmas to everybody, but also um, enjoy the next few months. It'll be quiet. We could be closed for a while. We're not planning to. On that note, closed for four days at Christmas, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, and just the Hugmanay and the 1st. We're planning to be open seven days a week, continuing through that. You might not be able to get here, but we'll get to you in some way. Thanks again. <laughs>